The watches that are shown in this video and or any watch that I review on this channel are not counterfeit. I do not and will not ever knowingly review any counterfeit watches on my channel. YouTube policy defines counterfeit items as follows. Counterfeit goods contain a trademark or logo that is identical to or substantially indistinguishable from the trademark of another. And YouTube also defines further that they mimic the brand features of the product in an attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. None of the items I review on this channel meet either one of these requirements. I do not review items that are identical in any way to any brand or that attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. These items are all purchased legally and are publicly available to anyone to purchase themselves. To the best of my knowledge, all of the watches that I review are made by companies that have done their research to make sure that the items they sell are legal. I do not produce these items, I only review them. Once again, the watches you see in this video and any watch you see on this channel reviewed by me is not and are not counterfeit items as defined by YouTube policy. Hey guys, Dave the Watchman here coming at you with another watch review video. Today, I just received another watch from Amazon.com, so I'm be doing an unboxing, see what we got here. I'm always getting new watches in, always, always, always getting new watches in, it always excites me. I love to get new watches in. So let's see what we've got in the package today. Once again, if you guys like my content, give me that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I do watch review videos on budget-friendly luxury and sports watches. Uh, you won't see the million-dollar watches on this channel. You'll only see watches that are beautiful and that do not cost a lot of money. So without further ado... Let's get into this. I'm with my trusty pal, Schrody. Schrody Cat, he's going to help me open this up, and we will show you what we got today. wonder what it is. What could it possibly be? Let's take a look. All right. Okay, so it's come from a company called Pin Time. Pin Time. So it's a pin time watch. Looks like a, looks like a nice case. It's kind of it's got a texture to it. A little bit of a gold emboss boss logo on the front, and uh, nice solid case protect protect the watch. Comes with a cleaning cloth. Oh, it's the Richard homage watch. The I've been waiting for this one to show up. Nice watch. Let's check it out and see if it's as nice as I think it is. Okay, first impression. Wow, first impression. That's that's a nice watch, guys. It's nice and heavy. Smooth edges. It's a good quality watch, guys. Stainless steel back, water resistant. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, let's take that out of there. Okay, it looks like it also comes with an instruction manual how to operate it. Um, wow, let's put this thing on. I want to see how this fits. So, take off this watch. And I'm going to post a link to this in the description below so you guys can pick one of these up if you like it. But, um, but yeah, this is, a, this is a nice sports watch. Real design. Um, for something like this, I mean, these things, I've seen these things for up to, what, 300000 400000 all the way up to a million dollars for these things. And honestly, this thing is beautiful. I'm definitely, uh, definitely impressed with this. You cannot beat it, especially for the price. You guys wouldn't even believe what I paid for this thing. You wouldn't even believe it. I mean, this is it's a nice watch. So let's see it. Let's, what time is it? 3.49. So that's 4. So 3.49. Wow, it doesn't even jump when you set it. It's pretty, uh, pretty responsive. The dial does kind of look... It does kind of look a little bit fake, the dial, or the, yeah, the face of it. But, all in all, I mean, guys, this was, this was a $27 watch. $27, bucks. this thing's nice. I mean, it's got some good heft to it. It sits probably about, probably about a half inch up. It's a very, very nice watch. Very rugged. Um, 
you don't have to worry about a watch like this too that's the other thing you put something like this on you don't have to worry about if you get it scratched because you didn't pay three hundred thousand dollars for it four hundred grand you know you're not into it for the price of three houses you know this is a this is a really nice watch guys um i love the burgundy on the on the crown love the uh the grayed out um I'll have to check. I think I had uh, purchased the black version of this, but this looks more of like a gunmetal, um, which isn't bad. I still love it. Um, I think it's a good quality watch, guys. This is, a, I think, this is a win here. Um, this company, Pen Time, I, I was kind of skeptical when I had ordered from them because I had never heard of that company, Pen Time, but. They get lucky on Olevs. This is uh this is an Olevs watch. I did a review on this too. Um, I had changed the band out on this. This actually came with a leather band, and uh, I changed it up. This is a tourbillon version of the Olevs. Uh, one of the Olevs watches. You can kind of see the moving tourbillon inside. But but anyway, I got lucky with the Olevs brand. I've got quite a few Olevs watches, and I love them. But now I think I'm a. I think I'm. You know, going to get a couple more of these pin times. Um, you do see the logo very, very, very small up at the top where it says pin time. But uh, but this is obviously supposed to represent and pay homage to it. Watch. But, I mean, you, you're not going to pick up a meal for this price. And, and, I mean, they do even have some little homage watches out there for upwards of $400, $500. Um, you're, you know, to, to find one, you know, at 27, 29 bucks, you, you guys might as well pick it up, especially if you like this styling. Um, I really, I think this is a really good looking watch. It's really, really nice. I'm actually going to wear this tonight. I will wear this out tonight and, uh, I'll do another long-term video on these watches and, uh, let you know how these watches stand up and, and all, um, and all the elements. Uh, the only difference between this and the and the I was looking at was these these slots here that had the the, the straight slots um, I was looking at. But these are kind of in a V shape, which actually I think does look kind of probably a little cooler. And from what I hear, the edges are a lot sharper and not as uh, smooth and buffed out as these, which makes this probably a little bit nicer um honestly instead of having something sharp but um over all in all on the pictures i've seen of the this is very 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 similar to it and um i'm definitely impressed with the quality of this watch uh but yeah i will post a link below uh, so you guys can uh, click on that link. It's an affiliate link. It sends a couple of bucks to the channel. If you guys decide, guys decide to buy one, um, I would definitely appreciate clicking on that link because it, you know, it does help out the channel. Also, remember like, like and subscribe. Um, help me get this channel off the ground, up and running. And um, you know, I'll be coming at you with a whole lot more watch videos or watch review videos. I'm getting watches in all the time. I'm always buying new watches, and I got a lot of exciting stuff coming in the mail within the next couple of days. So I'll be doing a lot more watch review videos. So if you want to keep on seeing these and you like you like this content, like I said, make sure you do that like and subscribe. And um, I will keep these watches coming at you or keep these watch videos coming at you. Just keep those likes coming in. I do appreciate all the subscribers I've gotten so far. I appreciate all the likes, all the comments, all the love. Um, so anything you guys want to say, if you want to have any input on this watch and you, you know, you, you got anything to say, let me know, put it in the comments. I will definitely respond to comments. Um, but yeah, um, like subscribe and I will see you guys in the next watch review video. Dave, the Watchman, I am out of here. You guys have a great weekend. The watches that are shown in this video and or any watch that I review on this channel are not counterfeit. I do not and will not ever knowingly review any counterfeit watches on my channel. YouTube policy defines counterfeit items as follows. Counterfeit goods contain a trademark or logo that is identical to or substantially indistinguishable from the trademark of another. And YouTube also defines further that they mimic 
the brand features of the product in an attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. None of the items I review on this channel meet either one of these requirements. I do not review items that are identical in any way to any brand or that attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. These items are all purchased legally and are publicly available to anyone to purchase themselves. To the best of my knowledge, all of the watches that I review are made by companies that have done their research to make sure that the items they sell are legal. I do not produce these items, I only review them. Once again, the watches you see in this video and any watch you see on this channel reviewed by me is not and are not counterfeit items as defined by YouTube policy.